<laughs> oh boy, oh boys and girls. Hello, cunts and cocks. Woo, there's a lot of glory today in the day of the Lord. Jesus fucking Christ, Holy Spirit. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> you know what there's a lot of glory on lately? Fuck you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> That's Joel's army for a good morning, Holy Spirit. Amen. Fuck you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah, baby. Come on. If you can't say, fuck you, Holy Spirit, in the joy of the Lord, you need to question your own salvation. <laughs> yeah. This is the next level of purging, you guys, the next level of refinement, the next level of growth, the next level of rest, <laughs> the next level of glory. I know we've been truly enjoying it. The last three weeks has been the most intense mental clarity I've ever experienced in my son of a bitch life until two days ago. And then we went back into that uncomfortable, retarded, I can't fucking even remember my name kind of glory. I'm a fucking idiot glory. And it's just a reminder, it's not you in those bodies anymore. No awareness of self whatsoever. Just the Lord. Just the Lord in there. The Lord of air. <laughs> the more you get emptied of self, the more you're possessed with him. And all of your identity, all of your fountains, all of your personality, all of your character qualities are Him. So you can say, the Lord is my wisdom. The Lord is my very presence. The Lord is my personality. The Lord is my emotions. The Lord is my feelings. Amen. It's all the Lord. All the Lord and none of us. Amen. He gets all the glory. All we are is big, empty wastes of space for God to use. And that's truly, you guys, the difference between a sinner and a saint. A sinner practices self. A saint has no self-awareness. Just a constant awareness of God the Father. The reason why Jesus Christ was a Huius from birth Never a technon. Technon is a New Testament word for baby Christian, immature one. Huius, mature one. The difference is the awareness of self or the lack thereof. Jesus Christ never had self-awareness. That's why he was a Huius from birth. <laughs> if you have no self-awareness, it's just all the Lord. Then all of his names are written on the temples of the Lord. And just like the Ark of the Might going into those rough waters, it will spread the seas everywhere you go. When you bring the anointing to all the character qualities of the Father that you've yielded your life to, He's just right behind that face, God. <laughs> and the sinners think you're some kind of superhuman or some kind of freak, you know, depending on you know, how wise or stupid they are. <laughs> you know, there's some smart ones out there to be like, I think that might be God. <laughs> and there's a lot of stupid ones out there that are like, you're just fucking insane. <laughs> no matter what they think, it's the truth anyhow. The Father is right behind your face. You've yielded your bodies to the Holy Spirit for possession. Now take that Holy Spirit, like the priests taking the Ark of the Covenant, out into the rough waters. And as soon as they stepped into the Jordan River, boom, the waters split. You take this next level anointing, you go out there and get reliant on the anointing in dark waters. <laughs> you know, you might just learn dark speech. <laughs> take the anointing out into storms of life, into the dark places, the low places, and so that everything in you can be shaken. That is the fastest way to grow in a constant awareness of the Father and for none of you to even be in those bodies anymore. Just Him. And then you're truly free. And then you're truly experiencing heaven on earth, the experience of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Love you guys. Happy Sunday, fun day. 
Hopefully uh, you can undo what those warlock pastors did to you this morning in Jesus' name.